Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com Bringing you another fly tying video today. This time I'm tying a wet fly for you. This is an old standard favorite of mine. Um, been fishing it for years and years. Whenever we started wet fly fishing, about 30 years ago, the guy that taught us how to fly fish, Jack Igo, pretty much showed us three flies. He said that's all you'll ever need. It'll get you through the whole year. And he's true, it will. This is one of those flies. The three flies he always said is... Um, Gray Hackle Red, Gray Hackle Peacock, which both of them he uses Grizzly Hackle for, and this one, um, just a Soft Hackle Hare's Ear, and that's a really simple one, and it catches lots of fish. It's uh, like a gold ribbed Hare's Ear without the wing, and no tail either. Um, Jack never fish, never liked the wet fly with a tail, so this one's in honor of Jack. Um, so let's get into tying it here. What we're going to start out with is a Firehole 633 hook. Um, I've been tying everything barbless, so I'm just sticking with tradition here and going with a barbless hook. For the thread, I'm using 70 denier brown thread, and we're just going to get that started there, and uh, we're going to put our rib on next. For the rib, we're using small gold ultra wire. Use brassy if that's what you have. You don't have to use small. I'm just, uh, like my... Uh, like I stress with my Euro Nymphs, thin is in, you know, thin to win. It's the same thing here. I'm keeping this fly thin and uh, not overdoing it on material. Okay, this is a gold ribbed hair gear style fly, but I'm not going to use hair gear. I'm going to use some SLF squirrel dub. I love using this stuff, it's really buggy. The color we're going to use on it is a natural gray. Um, this is a great for a darker one. I tie these in a dark and a light. This is a great color for the dark. And we're going to dub this onto our thread and, and I'm going very thin. I'm making a nice tight dub on here but with this squirrel dub when you wrap it it will spin out the hair and it'll stand out a little bit which makes it gives it that buggy look. So that's what we're after but I don't want to go thick on the body. Okay there's a difference between thick and buggy and we're looking for buggy okay so we're just gonna push that right up to the hook there and then we're gonna dub this forward and we like I said we're gonna keep it thin let those fibers work their way out okay and then we're just gonna there now I got it up there about an eye length behind the eye and that's where I want it so I'm going to take the rest of the fibers I had a little too much here pull them off and uh, finish that up there now you can see how the fibers stand out on that I like that that's what we're after um, the squirrel dub it, it just makes a nicer buggier look than the hairs here does that's why I use the squirrel dub next thing we're going to do is I'm going to counter wrap this gold wire and uh, wrap it up there and give it a little flashy gold rib. Um, French oval tinsel will work here if you have it. If you want to use something a little bigger to make sure it shines through for you, that's fine. I'm just giving you how I like to tie this. Okay, then we're just going to helicopter off our gold wire. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a piece of peacock on here. I, you see there, i got a little clump of not peacock, of partridge. And I'm just going to take one of these feathers off the neck of my partridge and uh, I'm going to pull the fibers back, pull the fluff off the back and then like I said, thin to win, we're going to take one side of this fiber and we're going to peel the feathers off of one side of this. Pull the fibers off I should say. Okay. Okay, now you see how I have pulled off one side and then I left a, a little bit on the end there that's what we're gonna tie down with so we're gonna make a little tag here okay and we're gonna tie down this tag okay we'll tie that down right there behind the hook it's only gonna take two or three wraps but we're gonna make it tight enough that it holds I'm gonna leave that tag sticking out while I wrap it so it don't pull out and then I'll take my hackle pliers and I'm just going to make about two wraps. Now, we're going to make this really sparse on the hackle, which is what we want. 
You don't need a lot of fibers here, okay? About two wraps is all you're going to get out of that, and that's perfect. And then we're going to tie it off. Okay, now we'll trim these off. And then finish up this head. And let's trim that one there. Oh, there, get, get it out of the way. Okay, and then we're just going to whip finish. And that is all that's to this very simple fly. And this is a great attractor fly. This doesn't really imitate any in particular hatch, but it's uh, tied in a couple different colors too, like use your light olives and uh, browns. So, you know, even sulfur color if you want uh, orange, whatever, whatever you want to have in your box. This is just a simple generic pattern and tie it in a couple different colors. Keep that head small and trim off your trim off your uh, thread there. That is all that's to this very, very good looking fly that catches a lot of fish. So give it a try. I'm sure it will work for you. Once you learn to swing flies, you'll be catching fish. When the hatch is coming off, have one of these on as your attractor fly and then have one to match the hatch. Um, this is a great all around fish catching fly. Uh, just remember, keep your drift, maintain your drift, don't let get a drag. Don't let your have any drag with a have a bow in your line causing your drag to pull it faster than the current. That's the main thing with wet fly fishing is managing the current, keeping your flies going the same speed as the current. So any of the material you need to tie this, you can find at our shop, wholesingersflyshop.com. Like always, please take the time to subscribe to our channel so you're constantly updated with new content, and uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Until next time. I'm Sean Holsinger. Mm -hmm.